Good Monday. I'm Chris Folt. This is Monday Morning Jolt. Let's get started. Sharona? Good morning. Today we have Jason Minnick. Jason Minnick uh, is the owner of uh, Catalyst Fitness. Uh, and it's not just a fitness place. He uh, actually, like, you can go in there and there's many, many other things that they do to get you to your best you that you want to be. So, Jason. Tell us a little bit about what you do and you know, you know some of your big plans that you are <laughs> in, 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 uh, having. Well, like you said, we do a lot of different things. Um, the mostly what we do is one-on-one -on -one personal training services. So we work with clients anywhere from those who want to do weight loss program to the, uh, young athletes all the way up to professional athletes. We, we've worked with the Fort Wayne Mad Ants the last couple years and, and worked with the players. Um, and so it's really all across the board. We have uh, clients who are young and old. And so we do um, that as well as we have membership programs also for our facility where people could come in and, and utilize the facility like any other gym, except for we, we have a very small facility. It's, we limit our membership to only 100 people and you don't have to have a membership to do one of our personal training programs. So um, we limit it because we, we like that personal atmosphere, the small, comfortable approach, and we really want to get to know everybody that comes into our door. So, um, we, you know, I, I've worked in the big gyms before, and, and I was never a big fan of the huge facility with thousands of people that you didn't know half the people you came across. So we did that a little different with Catalyst. I actually go to Jason for pain relief because he's a great stretcher, <laughs> and he takes the pain away, and he does an incredible job at it. And how did you learn that stuff, Jason? You know, like, uh, like how did you perfect this? Like, so that you do it better than anyone that I know. Well, uh, first off, I graduated from Taylor University uh, with a degree in wellness, and we did learn about flexibility and stretching and, and the ins and outs of that. But really, about ten years ago, with my clients, I started um, doing stretching with every client after every appointment, and just over time learning what about what I'm feeling and, and studying on different approaches to stretch and flexibility I kind of developed my own technique so we do have a lot of clients that come to us just for the stretching and uh, they'll come in for 20 or 30 minutes and we stretch uh, they get up on a, a therapy table or like a massage table um, type of setup and then we stretch and, and it's amazing how many people don't stretch That's right. <laughs> and, and really it's something that everybody should do and it's um, it, we've seen so many people have pain relief, have the ability to move more, have less injuries just by just by simply stretching. So, I'm assuming that you make every day count, and so you enjoy Mondays and think they're a great start mm -hmm. to the week. And how do you get yourself started, and why do you think they're a great day? Why do I think Mondays are mm -hmm. great? Well, for me, I love what I do absolutely love what I do. I get up every day, not just Mondays, and I, I can't wait to get in and see my first person I'm working with. And I guess I'm pretty fortunate to be able to earn a living doing something I enjoy doing. Um, you know, but so I wake up Mondays and it's, it's right off the get-go. I can't wait to get there. It's our busiest day usually. So it, it's fun. I enjoy the challenge of just constant from probably five in the morning till about eight at night. It's, it's go, wow. go, go. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's a lot of fun. Um, to get myself going, I usually start the day with my kids. We have three little kids and, um, you know, ages two, five, and, and seven. That'll get you going. Yeah. So that, that's really how we start our day, getting the kids up and get going from the moment I wake up. I don't really have time to, to you know, mope around. It's we got to get going, get the kids ready for the day, and then get ourselves going. So. Uh, what kind of advice can you give give to other people, especially people who are, I mean, I know you can, one of the things that they might be able to do it, like get on a fitness program mm -hmm. to have more energy and, and have, have a better day. What other tips or tricks can you give us as a person who's, who's uh, an expert at wellness to, well, to make their day better? You know, I guess um, some of the best advice that I've ever been given and that I've been able to pass along to my clients is, is when I spoke with Jack LaLanne. Now, there's a lot of people who may not know who Jack wow. LaLanne is, yeah. but I had the opportunity to interview him a couple years ago on the radio, and one of the things he said is, it doesn't matter who you are or what you have going on in your life, whether you're sick or hurt, you can always do something about it. 
You can always try to do a little bit more for yourself in a positive direction every day compared to what you did the day before. So it's really the best advice I can give is just focus on doing a little bit more than what you're currently used to doing as far as exercise and, and eating a little bit better than what you've been eating. And if you keep doing that, it'll add up over time. Yeah, and um, also you uh, handle a lot of these myths like eating habits mm -hmm. and um, uh, yeah. like fitness habits. So I strongly recommend our viewers to go to Jason's website, which he will announce later, mm -hmm. to learn more about what he has to say um, about that uh, stuff. So if you had to sum up your philosophy, or if you, uh, do you have an adage that you live by? I, I think I have about a couple hundred adages <laughs> I live by. You can only pick one. <laughs> you know, I, I have a, a file of all these great quotes and sayings that I love. Um, and there was one that, um, actually it's, it's not very short, if you don't mind me saying it, it's actually a prayer I like to say to myself every day on the way to work. Uh, it's something that we learned um, back in football in college at Taylor. I played football there and we would say it before every game and it just kind of stuck with me and it goes, this is the beginning of a new day. God has given me this day to use as I will. I can waste it or use it for good. Uh, what I do today is important because I'm exchanging a day of my life for it. When tomorrow comes, this day will be gone forever, leaving in its place something I've traded for it. I want it to be gain, not loss, good, not evil, success, not failure, in order that I shall not regret the price that I've paid for it, because the future is just a whole string of nows. And I say that every day, and it just kind of gets me going, motivates me for the day. So. That's great. That's great. So, you know, superpowers, you, you probably you want something like strength, man of, man of, steel or whatever. <laughs> what superpower, if you had to pick one, would you want? Oh boy, that's a good question. <laughs> um, you know, I, I guess of many that once again I could pick from one would be the, the ability to read somebody's mind. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> I said that like it's messy. Well, <laughs> well, for my clients, for example, I, to be able to, a lot of what I do isn't just making somebody exercise. It's not about the next hardest workout. It's about figuring out all the little pieces in their life that we can fit together to, to get them the results that they want. And a lot of it is psychological and mental. So l understanding what people are thinking and, and how I can motivate them is probably the superpower that I, that I would definitely want. Great. And now tell us something that uh, people that even know you well may not know about you. Oh boy. Um, you know, that's a tough one. I think, uh, I'm, I'm pretty close with everybody I know, so, but I'd, I'd say one thing that a lot of people don't, who know me now, who didn't know me before, don't know that I used to weigh over 300 pounds. Uh, I played football in college, I played center. Um, so it was all muscle? It was mostly muscle, but then after that, you know, and I was working in a high stress job in, in a, a big gym, doing more managing than personal training, and body fat percentage changed, and so I, go, I went through a lot of what people that I work with experience is, you know, just that sluggishness, not feeling good, you know, overweight, and, and so I, you know, changed what I was eating, changed, even though I knew, I knew what I was doing, I just didn't do it for myself, and so I changed what I was eating, changed exercise habits, and lost 70 pounds in about four months, and... Four you know, months? Yeah, it was a little fast, more than I'd recommend for anybody, <laughs> but at the same time, you know, it, a lot of people didn't realize that I actually weighed that much, and I can, I have common ground with them, I understand you know what they're going through so so um, to sum up Jason is a is, is a very dynamic person who, who you, anyone should know uh, Jason tell us how do people get hold of you your website your phone number uh, your blog mm -hmm. and whatnot uh, tell us how people can get hold of you um, a number of different ways uh, our website is www.catalyst-fitness.com uh, our phone number is 399-3863, that's 260 area code, and um, also Jason Minnick on Twitter, and uh, there's also another organization that i um, recently started doing some exercise videos with, they're a local company, and their website is imergroup.com, that's E-I-M-E-R-G-R-O-U-P.com, and it's a very affordable online personal training. So. This is Monday Morning Joe use it and we would like to thank Jason for coming yes. and helping us today.